channel guys crypto lights here we're back with another video and i've got an update about bydow they are now going to be listed on hotbit exchange uh tomorrow the 4th of november obviously we talked about uh bydow yesterday we saw that bydow has been going down a little bit all right guys uh, so you can see the, the announcement is on telegram it hasn't actually been on twitter for, for some reason they're a bit slow with getting their information out to be honest but here you can see that bydow did have a dump which we we spoke about yesterday had a big drop all the way down to 0.8 cents on sorry 0.008 cents okay so under a penny under ico price um that dip obviously got bought up as you can see there was a nice price increase for those that might have got in down there and bought a dip opportunity 46 percent okay currently about 42 percent and it does look like it is heading to the upside for some recovery now obviously this would you would class as a bullish engulfing candle so we expected that this will continue to the upside but will it break above this level and continue upwards um, after that that is yet to be seen all right guys but obviously new exchange listing um i think that's about five exchanges now uh, probably another two more to come potentially and you know who knows they might have more in the pipeline um you know uh, new deals which they, they might have got since then but um yeah by now obviously uh yeah it's still not looking great at the end of the day until we put in a higher high and begin to get some of this ground back and begin to head to the upside uh another thing i will say is over uh, across the crypto space it's not looking too great there's a lot of uh, dips a lot of rug pulls a lot of uh, downside activity going in crypto at the moment all right so it's not just buy down that is doing this all right guys so if you are an investor in that that should um you know at least give you some encouragement that you're not alone in this and uh we do expect the market to to turn around later uh, as we head, head towards the end of the year or the new year but um, being in the right coins is important with a buy down will be one of those that is yet to be seen of course it's very new guys and it's very early but um, yeah one thing I wanted to address is that there is a lot of junk in the crypto space especially in DeFi right now there's a lot of rug pulls right the amount of money that I've lost to scams of fake contract addresses you know even I still make the same mistake sometimes every now and again it hasn't happened in, in the short while but um not even too long ago uh the last time uh i can't remember when it was probably about a month ago i still bought um a fake coin it might not have even been that long actually but um yeah I've, i mean i've kind of stepped down from you know just rushing in and jumping into everything because what you'll find is in my telegram group we get a lot of uh there's a lot of eyes there's eyes all over the place okay i, I always think it's good to have one, one uh, more than one pair of eyes on the market and uh, my telegram group provides that for me you know i'm calling out trades calling out breakouts pointing out charts and other people are doing the same thing too all right so i benefit from it just as much as everybody else who joins benefits from it um it's always good to have one pair of eyes and a friend in the crypto space that can say hey guys this is going up or hey guys check out this new coin or hey guys you know uh, this is a good long-term investment and so on all right so uh yeah what i would do is because i've had a lot of capital um on the sidelines a lot of times people will point out a new coin they might post a contract address or whatever you know i'll, I'll just literally double click copy and paste and then buy the thing sometimes you know blindly while i'm doing other things because i'm so busy um but yeah doing that has caused me to lose quite a bit of money all right it's not even something you can get mad about um because you know people make mistakes but uh at the same time you know that money's gone forever do you know what i mean so yeah there's a lot of uh, scumbags in the crypto space robbing people taking people's money you know not everyone's got a lot of money to invest so when you're doing that when when people are uh, you know stealing people's investment and and pulling out liquidity and all that sort of stuff i just think it's it's you know it's just it's just completely immoral you know and i've got no respect for people that do things like that so um yeah there's a lot of junk in the crypto space if you are a newbie in this game you need really need to be careful um you know because if i was a newbie right now i probably would have turned around and said forget crypto you know too many scams you know but uh, because i'm quite seasoned i've been in this game a long time you know i'm quite resilient to the losses I, i've been through patches where i've lost lots of money uh, so you know i'm quite resilient to the losses even before crypto you know business investments you know whenever you make an investment you have to be prepared to lose that money forever 
you know um, otherwise just don't do it in the first place you know the aim is to make a profit but um, you have to be comfortable with the risk also another one that I want to talk about just very quickly is Atari or um, Atari tokens all right so Atari token the pre-sale ended I got in on the pre-sale that ended uh, the other day and um, no I got in on a private sale sorry there was an independent offering on bitcoin.com uh, let's just go on bitcoin.com yeah um, it launched an independent exchange offering on uh, or an in initial exchange offering sorry on um, on, on bitcoin.com and uh, yeah Atari was uh, or actually it was listed on here now unfortunately I don't know where my mind was at this time but I should have known that it was coming on Monday okay uh, or yesterday should I say um, and I didn't you know I'm so busy caught with other things right and uh miss an opportunity to kind of sell and take a profit over here because i got i picked this up in a private sale at around 16 cents because i missed out on the initial sale um but yeah and they did an offering of around 24 cents maybe or 25 cents on bitcoin.com uh, it's since gone down but i think this can recover over time i think uh you know uh, with something like this you're buying into the brand I personally bought into the brand, okay, but it's always good. If you can catch a pump like that, it went all the way up to $1.25 approximately, or $1.30, or so it says here on um, on Chartex. Uh, yeah, you probably wouldn't have caught it, but there's always that thing in the back of your mind, could I have caught that? All right, could I have taken a profit out of there? But um, yeah, even since it stabilized up here, um at around 25 26 cents you know if anybody bought in the in the in the ieo and they're selling under here that's that's not really a great investment is it but yeah i am holding this token uh just to see uh, how far it can go like i said buying into a brand investors a common theme with investors is buying into brands you can't fail all right so if a brand dumps all right if coca-cola for example dumps all right it's a good time to buy coca-cola something like facebook dumps it's a good time to buy facebook stock buy when there's blood in the streets they like to say now buying when there's blood in the streets doesn't mean that doesn't apply to every single token or, or every single investment all right if it's a brand I'd say you know potentially but if it's something that's kind of fairly new something that's just come out and it has a massive dump to the downside it's probably a sign uh, of you know things to come you know probably more downside for that all right and that's just my interpretation of the market being you know as experienced as I am uh, you know I'm not an expert you know that's just that's just my through my own experience those are the kind of decisions that's that's how I base my decision uh, decision making all right so yeah atari token um you can check that out i'm not sure um you know a lot a lot of people are young in the crypto space that's always good to see if you are older in the older years you know like me you know in, in mid 30s um that kind of age if you're an 80s baby like me um you you'll know atari as a brand okay before playstation and nintendo 64 and all that sort of stuff we had the sega master system before that we had the atari uh, computer game system i think they were actually the first to do it to come out with a games console to be honest all right but yeah um check that out it's also on uniswap okay so it's on bitcoin uh, dot, dot com and it's also on available to buy on uniswap uh, hence why i'm using the chart x chart for that okay keeping an eye on it um you know i'll probably switch this off and just forget about it for for a long while all right guys but uh yeah bye now on a uh, hot bit okay okay it's not on there buy that will be on hot bit okay guys so yeah um you do what you want to do with that information if we can see a bitcoin bull run um i do expect that a lot of cryptos that are quite popular will go up alongside bitcoin and probably even much more considering the fact that they're old coins so if we can see an old season it will be great but DeFi, be very careful with DeFi. at the end of the day um what i do is a lot of times when you see a coin that comes out and it gets that initial pump and it goes crazy right if i take a profit on that and take a very large profit on that best thing for me to do is just to kind of move on to the next one all right and there's coins coming out every single day but there's a lot of junk on there there's a lot of scams all right and how do you differentiate well which is the real from the fake which is the good from the bad sometimes it's to do with instinct sometimes it's to do with research 
and um, yeah guys just be extra careful I just want to put a warning out there for any of you that uh, might have needed that right now okay so that's it for now if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe like and comment down below also get over onto twitter and follow me at crypto lightsaber you can also become a patreon the link is in the description for that and that will get you access to the telegram channel and that's about it so guys i will see you in the next video